Now let us talk about list. Lists are used to store multiple values in a single variable. They are created using square brackets. So this is the syntax for creating a list. We declare the name of the list, then assignment operator. Then within the square brackets, we specify items separated by commas. Items in the list are ordered. So every item in a list have positive index and negative index. In the positive indexing system, first item of the list has zero index. The second item has first index. And third item has second index. And so on. In the negative indexing system, last element has negative 1. Second to last element has negative 2. And the next element has negative 3. And so on. Now I am creating a list called x. Then I am adding values separated by commas. Now let us see how to select a specific item in a list. I am typing print name of the list. Then within the square brackets, I have to specify the index of the item. In this case, I want to select element D. So the index will be 0, 1, 2, 3. So I am specifying number 3. Now you can see D has been printed. Now let us see negative indexes. In the negative indexing system, last element of the list has negative 1. Then the next element has negative 2 and so on. Now I want to select element B in negative indexing system. So the negative index will be minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and minus 5. I am typing minus 5. Now you can see element has been printed. Now let us see how to select range of elements. Within the square brackets, I have to specify the starting index, then the colon, then the ending index. Now let us see what will happen. Now you can see it, it has been printed element 1, 2, 3 and 4. Final index has been ignored. Now I want to select elements from index 2 to index 4. In this case, it will select element from index 2 to index 3. Element with index 4 is ignored. You can see this is the element with index 2 and this is the element with index 3. This is the element with index 4 and it has been ignored. Now let us see how to select element from index 0 to a specific element. In this case, we have to keep blank for first index then specify the second index. I am giving number 5. In this case, it will print element from number 0 to element with number 4. 0, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Index 5 will be ignored. Let us run this. Now let us see how to select element from a specific element to the last element. In that case, we have to specify the starting index here. Uh, I am selecting element from index 3. Then I have to add colon, then after blank. Now this will print all the elements starting from index 3. It will print element 3, 4 and 5. Again I want to print element from index 1. In this case it will print 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now let's see how to add elements into a list. To add elements we have to use append command. I am typing x dot append then the element we want to add this time I am adding capital A now I am printing the list again to see what has been happened now you can see A has been added to the end of the list again I am adding another element x dot append this time I am adding letter I said. I am printing the list again. Now you can see it has been added to the end of the list. So the conclusion is append command will add elements into the end of the list. Imagine if you want to add the element into a specific index, so we can use insert function. I am typing x dot insert. First specify the index. I am giving number 2, then the element. I will add letter Q. Then I am printing the list again. Now let us see what will happen. 
Now you can see u has the index of 2. Now I am adding q to the third position. Now let us see what will happen. Now you can see q has been added to the third place. Now let us see how to remove a specific item from a list. For that I have to type remove function. I am typing x dot remove. Then within the parenthesis I have to specify the element I want to remove. I want to remove element q. So I am typing letter q. Let us print the list again. Now you can see q has been removed from the list. Now let us see how to remove the last element of a list. For that I have to use the pop function x dot pop again let us print the list now you can see last element has been removed now let us see how to remove a specific index of a list for that I am typing x dot pop within the parenthesis I have to specify the index we want to remove uh, imagine I want to remove letter c so the index will be 0 1 2 so I am typing number 2 now let us see what will happen. Now you can see let us see has been removed from the list. Now let us see how to combine two lists. This process is called extending list. Now I am creating a new list called y. Now I am adding elements. I will add number 1, 2 and 3. Now I want to combine x with y. So I am typing x dot extend y now y has been added to the end of the list x so let us print the list x now you can see y has been added to the end of the x 